morning, everybody. My name is Christy, and we are doing a Facebook Live today in the Sea Otter area because today is one of our Sea Otters' birthday. We're going to introduce you to Yaku in just a minute, but as we go along with this live, please throw some questions if you have them in the chat, and um, let's, let's see him. One moment. Here he is. So as I mentioned, this is Yaku. He is our oldest sea otter here at Shedd Aquarium, and he is 21 years old today. So that's pretty awesome because out in the uh, natural uh, area where they would be found, sea otters would live possibly to mid-teens to earlier uh, 20s. So the fact that Yaku's 21, we're pretty proud of that. He's doing so good. If you can see him, He's pretty large. He's working with one of our other animal care staff, Katie, and he is having a, just a tiny bit of a training session right now, but we've got lots of treats and things planned in just a moment. So a little background about Yaku. He was actually born at the Seattle Aquarium. So all of our other sea otters, we have four other otters here at Shed Aquarium, they were all um, they came to shed as rescued sea otters, whereas Yaku was born at the Seattle Aquarium. Now, Yaku's parents were um, rescued otters, one from um, a local rescue and one was from the Exxon Valdez oil spill. So he's got some parents that had that situation. Katie's feeding him to his mouth. I don't know if you're able to get a peek at those teeth. He's got some big teeth, some uh, sharp molars. Fun fact about sea otters is that they have the bite force of a black bear. So while they look cute and cuddly and adorable, they can be potentially dangerous. But those sharp molars and strong jaws really help them open some shellfish. And we're going to get to see that in just a little bit. <laughs> so some things uh, that make Yaku special, as I mentioned, he is our oldest male here at the aquarium, and he is the largest. Yaku is just under 70 pounds. I think he's just around like 68 or so. So he's a big guy, that is for sure. And he has been here, like I said, he came when he was very young. So he has spent most of his life here at Shed Aquarium. In his older age, he's a pretty um, docile, animal, you can usually find Yaku um, curled up in some kelp on our exhibit taking a nap. So he definitely likes to relax and take it easy. <laughs> hi. Say hi to your viewers. I just saw a question. What is Yaku's favorite food? Well, first I'll tell you everything he's eating and then we'll talk about his favorite food. So Yaku is eating a lot of food. Um, otters eat a lot. They eat about 20 to 25% of their body weight every day. He's munching on some shrimp right now. He also eats some clam. There we go. Pollock, capelin, and squid as well. Now the question was, does he have a favorite food? And Yaku is uh, not picky. Yaku eats it all. Um, I would say clam is, is a favorite for many of our sea otters, but we don't see any strong preferences from Yaku. He'll, he'll eat anything from his seafood salad. He is very attentive, and I love showing off his size. I don't know if you guys can notice, up top he's got these dexterous, really dexterous paws that help him manipulate shells and help him grab onto his food. And then if you see down below, he's got flippers and that's what helps him swim really well in the water. So otters have really cool adaptations and fun little body. In just a moment, we're going to be bringing some of Yaku's roommates and we're going to see some of our younger otters that have been at Shed recently. And that is our youngsters, Cooper and Watson. If you have followed any of our social media before, you might have noticed some highlights on Cooper and Watson. Here's some more, bud. And Cooper and Watson came to Shed almost two years ago. So they are the youngest of the Shed crew. Now, when they come in, I want you to take a peek at the pup's coloration, their size, and other things about them. As we see Yaku, we can see that he's got a nice white head. He was pretty light, uh, light furred. There we go. And that comes with age. So that comes with age. 
And oh, I already see a, one of the little youngsters behind him. Crashing his face with live. We'll see you in a second. Oh, so here we go. Here come the youngsters. We've got Cooper, who's in the pool right now. And Watson, who is also in the pool. So these guys, as I mentioned, they're going to be two in May. Watson here, I'm sorry, Cooper here is on the seat. And one of the ways that we can tell Cooper from Watson is his size. He's a little bit larger in size. Watson's and he's got um, lighter whiskers. <laughs> hey, Watson. There you go. So let me give you a little backstory on Cooper and Watson. I told you about a little bit about Yaku. Oh, there we go. We got all three. I'm going to see if I can get them all in the shot. It's like taking a family picture. It's never, never perfect, but that's okay. So Cooper and Watson, they were both found as um, orphan pups. Cooper was in really good health and he was very healthy. So it's unsure if his mother was just away and they were separated. Whereas Watson, he was found after a storm and he was pretty hypothermic and needed medical care. So we think he was separated in the storm. Their first step was that they both went to the Monterey Bay Aquarium first. And um, they've got a really good rehabilitation team there. And then they contacted us at SHED and the rest is history. Um, because they came together, they're pretty close buddies and companions. And uh, they hang out a lot, they play together a lot. Just like youngsters, they uh, are very active. Whereas I mentioned Yaku's older and likes to just take it easy. In just a moment, we're going to give them some shellfish, possibly, because um, also it's a great way to explain how sea otters are called a keystone species. Now, why is that? Well, out in their natural habitat, there's sea otters, there are sea urchins, and there are the kelp forests. Those sea otters eat the sea urchins. Those sea urchins eat on the kelp forests. So without otters in the mix in the food chain, those um, sea urchins would decimate the kelp forest. So otters are what you call a keystone species. They're really important to the environment because they keep all everything in a nice balance. So they, because of sea otters, those kelp forests can thrive. So right now we're gonna get some treats ready. Because it is Yaku's birthday, we've got some extra special things. We've got some shellfish, we've got some sea urchins. Hopefully we can show you um, the pups sometimes eat sea urchins, and we've got some other treats. Here we go. <laughs> They've already been unloaded. So right now, Watson is licking off some clam formula that we just froze onto some toys. It acts like a nice glue, and it's like a nice little thing for them to eat. Here's some sea urchins. For Cooper, we've noticed that it kind of helps him if we cut them into smaller pieces. So we've got one of those for him. I'm going to give him one and see if he's interested. Hey, bud. Said so maybe later. That's OK. <laughs> Watson is getting formula on his face. <laughs> and Yak is a big fan of some clams. So we're going to watch that in just a moment. We could watch them all day. So I told you a little bit about Yaku and how his size is. And you can probably see compared to Yaku, Watson looks a lot smaller. So just for reference, Yaku is just under 70 pounds, whereas Watson's in his mid-30s and Cooper's in his early 40s for pounds. So they've got a lot of growing to do, but you can definitely see the size difference and you can see that they're a lot darker. They will lighten up with age as well. I hear some cracking. I think Yak is blocking the shot. But I think some shellfish opening is occurring. There we go. Watson's got a clam. Sometimes the youngster boys can hog these play sessions. So I think Yak is just trying to figure out where's his best spot and what treat he wants to start with.
There we go. So in addition to some of the shellfish, you might see some other frozen things. That flower in the pool, that is just some frozen food. We can freeze it. It's just a different way to give it to them. We can add that clam formula to things. Looks like Cooper found himself a nice little spot to eat this cupcake. So also, I'm not sure if everybody is aware, but sea otters are an endangered species. So everybody might think that they're everywhere and anywhere and so plentiful, but they're actually an endangered species. So if you guys are as passionate about we are here at Shed and you want to see how can you take action for animals, what can you do to play your part? We have a new initiative started on our website. It's called Surge. And if you go to our website, you can sign up for it. You can be part of newsletters and um, email groups that will um, give more guidance in the future. Yak is still looking for what is the perfect treat to start with. Also, just for um, if you're interested, as I said, my name is Christy. We're here in the Otter area today. It's Yaku's 21st birthday, so we're having some play session going on in the hallway. And for those that are either nearby or planning a trip, here we are open. Uh, Shed Aquarium is open right now at a limited capacity. So you can come and see our sea otters out on um, the public exhibit. Or um, if you're interested as well and you're not nearby, we also offer virtual encounters that we do um, quite frequently, sometimes on the weekends. And it's a great way to see otters from your very own home. Cooper is making out big time on this play session today. <laughs> All right. What is Yaku's favorite food? Yaku's a big fan of all the food types, but he does enjoy um, the occasional formula treat. I have seen him open clams pretty frequently. I don't know if he's camera shy today. We'll see if he wants one. <laughs> you don't like the attention? It's okay. He's just checking out what everyone else is doing right now. Or as you can see, our youngsters, they don't miss a play session. They get as involved as possible. What other questions do we have? Here we go. Watson's like, come on, man. It's easy. So seeing Watson at almost two years old open a clam, might not seem like anything exciting or special, but it is definitely something that he had to learn here um, because, you know, he didn't grow up with his mom like most sea otters do. So we kind of had to help him. We would first give Watson a little partially open clam. Maybe we'd bang it a little bit. And then pretty soon he got the hang of it. I saw a question, who's Yaku's best friend? So these are the three males that we have here at Shed Aquarium. We also have two females, uh, Kiana and Luna. And Kiana's an older female as well, still several years younger than Yaku, but she's also a nice, calm companion. So I would say Yaku's probably closest with Kiana. He's lived with her the longest, and they kind of have the same energy. They like to just take naps, lay in an ice pile, possibly. What games do they like to play, Evelyn asked. That's a really good question. Um, what games do they like to play? Well. For us, on the animal care side, it's our job to make their day exciting. So we like to get our otters different puzzles, whether it is sinking enrichment, that they have to use that natural diving and foraging skills to do that. Or we have like a maze um, that we can have them put a ball and kind of work the ball that has treats in it out. So take some coordination, definitely take some, some thinking. Um, but yeah, we, we like to give them different ways to have engagement, you know, have puzzles. Sometimes we hide the food on these play sessions. Hi, sir. 
Why did we hit the clam on the ground? So in their natural habitat, a sea otter might keep a rock in its pocket, a nice little tool to help them crack open that clam. However, here at Shed, we don't give them rocks to um, open things. They might use that on our glass and our acrylics as well. So instead, they use the area that they do have. They use the ground, any hard surface, and they'll, they'll use that to open up the, the shellfish. They're crafty. Do sea otters have different colored irises? That's a really good question. I'm thinking of, I'm panning over our entire group. And um, for the most part, I think they all have the same color eyes, but um, some might look slightly different. I know when we think of Cooper and Watson together, Coopers are a little bit darker, whereas Watsons are a little bit more um, buggy, if you will. They're a little bit wider. Sorry, one more time. What are some of the other things they eat? So you're seeing a lot of it today. You're seeing their diet items. You're seeing some of their treats. Occasionally they will also get crabs. That's one of their other treats. We like to give them their shellfish and their crabs in the hallway um, that is behind the scenes right now because then any shells are, are kept in the hallway. And then we can make sure that they won't scratch the glass with them. Cooper is, this is going to take a while for Cooper to finish this treat, but he's making a really good effort. How small are sea otter pups? So it all depends on their age, um, but sea otter pups are much smaller. Um, are, the pups that have come in to shed, because they have come in at different ages, they have come in at different sizes. Um, I think our smallest pup that came in was maybe around seven or eight pounds. A newly born pup would probably be possibly even a little bit smaller than that, but they do grow um, a good amount in their first year. You can see all the carnage, <laughs> all the shells everywhere after this play session. Cooper says, I like birthdays. All right, everybody. Well, I just wanted to thank you for joining us for this little play session for Yaku's birthday today. Again, if you are in the area or want to make a trip, you can come to Shed and look for Yaku, Cooper, and Watson and the rest of our sea otters. Or you can sign up for a virtual encounter. And then one more time, if you are interested in how can you further um, taking action for the animals, if you're you know, really interested in what you can do, please go to our website and sign up for Surge, and then you can help us out. I'm going to close here with Watson. Thank you guys so much today for joining us. Take care. Have a great day.